speaking for all the short people out there, because you know I'm going to be in my feelings about this. You know what I'm saying? A, a, every now and then. So, you know, on the good, like I said, like I always say, but on the good day, I'm like 5'4". When I'm laying down, I'm like 5'5". Five, five. Because everybody knows when you get taller, gravity's not pressing on you no more. You get me? So yeah, you're not yeah, com- yeah. being it's compressed. Like, it's like of midgets. I mean, what? No, no. I'm saying because like it just like it makes sense, right? When you stand up, you get compressed by gravity, right? But then when you lay down, you no longer come. Especially like if you like wiggle a little bit, like if you stretch your spine <laughs> out, you bend your toes. Yeah, yeah, like you stretch out, and gravity's only coming down your stomach. That's why, like, why do you think guys when they like uh, they love taking the ab picture they when they lay down? Exactly, because gravity's just pushing on you. All you gotta do is flex a little bit, and you just see. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> and the right lighting. You know, yeah, it, it's, it's specific. You know, the lighting is is this. You have to have a dark room, and you have to have that flash. So, so you have that contrast into the, the exactly the cuts. like the shade, yeah. the shadow gets into the abs. The abdominals. Yeah, and you can start thirst trapping properly. You know what I mean? And you know so we we you are know, dropping knowledge right here, George. Yeah, no, right? I, I am. I'm. I'm telling guy, you, this, guy this thirst trap. This is physics, and this is um. And this is pure science that I'm talking about at this point. You guy, got me thirst trapping. That yeah, because good. look, you got to think about it. Like, this is all psychology right here, right? Thirst trapping. And just laws of physics. You get me? It just makes sense. So when you lay down, you're clearly taller. That just makes sense. Yeah, especially if you stretch out. Like, I'm telling you, you shim a little bit so your spine gets, like, intact. And you kind of just stretch your feet out, like you said, a little bit. And you expand a little bit. Everybody knows I, that. I think we got to put a disclaimer down here. Everything he said is not scientific. No, it, it, it no, no. Time out. It is. It will not be on the court. Whatever, man. I don't know, bro. If you ever get a lawsuit, so, bro, we're going to bring this tape back and be like, we all okay. know. The George is a li- slander. That's a liar. okay. That's okay. I will never get sued out here in the streets. <laughs> Let's believe that. So, my point here is this. So, a woman can come out and say things like, um, oh, I, I just want a tall guy. I want a tall guy. This and the third. But then, if a guy, I guess, goes ahead and says, I, just, I want a fat ass. I want some big titties. I want a little waist. I want a girl with abs. I want a girl that's slim. All of a sudden, he's a jerk. Cause he's he's uh, an asshole. He's a uh, whatever. He's a douchebag. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I I just I just think you know it's my job. It's my duty. You know what I'm saying? As a law-abiding citizen, you know what I'm saying? To bring to fruition. You know what I'm saying? These causes that are de- like these are women pressing on men. That's all it is. It's women Oppression. pressing on men. Well, Listen, the look, her people hurt people. And I understand that men have oppressed women for a very long time. So you know now women are returning the favor. Yes, that's all it is. So you know, all of this talk about equality and stuff, it's not about equality. It's for a bigger purpose. You know what I'm saying? It's for a takeover. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? You give somebody... It's like, you know, the 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 best line uh, Lil Wayne has said a long time ago. He's like, you give a girl an inch, now she wants a mile or wh- whatever the, the, the case is. Um, you give her a hand and take Actually, no. His line is yeah. actually more nasty. I think that's the regular line, right? Yeah. Like, give somebody an inch, yeah. they want to take a mile. I think his line is like, why would she want an inch when she could have nine? Yeah. But that's like sexual. Yeah. So never mind, but close that one out. But you kind of get what I'm getting at, right? So like, so, so for me, this whole, this whole entire tweet thing was funny though, just because I'm like, bro, you probably are like five something. The fuck you want? I really do want to know that though. Like, why is that such a big thing? Like, why is it that, um, and obviously I'm going to be mad about it because I'm little, but you know what I'm saying? I, I do want to know though, like, Overall, why is that a thing? Like, so why are we in this time of equality or whatever talking so much still about like heights and about uh, all of these, I guess, like things that are frivolous. They, they, they don't matter. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're like for like the pretty boys like you. Like I would say like the guys that have pretty people privilege, you guys don't think about these things. You guys, it doesn't you affect guys. you. Yeah, because it doesn't affect you guys. You, know I mean? you guys get to walk around. You 5'10", right? 5'10 and a half, something yeah, like that? 5'11". You're not 5'11". You're, not five, I'm, I'm out there, you're really like 5'9", like, like, but you know, we'll give you 5'10". I'm like 5'10". You said you better say 5'11". You're not 5'10". I, like I told you, I told you 5'10 and, and a half for fun. Like, you're not, no, you're not really 5'10". I'm like 5'10 and 3 quarters. You're like 5'10". Get the stick. Get the measuring stick. No, I've already sorted this out. No. Yeah. Didn't we... Yeah, and I got like 5'10 and a half. Yeah, but you had like some big ass Whatever the fuck you had on, I, you I did. Don't want you did. Like All right, whatever Nike shoes you was wearing at the time with the big ass heel, bro. Your nah, shoes got a big bro, heel, bro. Nah, bro. Bro, nah. come on. Don't bro. try to set me up. Don't right, try man. to set me up. All right, Chris. Now we're trying to be not humble. Huh? That's what we're doing. Nah, That's what we're doing. Me up. But you know, not to tap on to what you were saying. Um, the thing that this girl told me on Friday. Wait, is this is this explained to me the height thing? No, it has to do with all the things that you talk about, how, like women okay, okay, always okay. say, like, oh, you know, men talk about my body, but I can't, but like they talk about men's body all the time. All right, right, true, true. And this is this idea. Woman, this girl told me at work, 
she was like, uh, essentially, I forgot, I forgot how the conversation started, but she basically told me, oh, that's why good looking people are never, cons- are never accused of sexual harassment. It's the ugly one that is. Like, if a good-looking dude comes onto a girl, mm-hmm. chances are she's not going to feel like he's sexually harassed her. Got she's going to feel like, damn, he likes me. Got it's you. when the she ugly, guy, yeah, when the ugly guy comes, uh-huh. right? That's when she's like, yo, this guy's sexually harassing me. <laughs> and then that's, that's, the idea. that's the whole idea of people, uh, pretty people privilege. They right, get right. away with some slickness right, right. that someone who's not as appealing right. would it. Well, I mean, but I, I think, you know, for you to be considered pretty people i think you need to have like uh, for you to be considered a pretty boy a pretty girl whatever you need to come with a full package you know i mean i think for girls um it doesn't even matter if like it's, a girl's height doesn't matter yeah but, but for example like all right let's say this girl's really bad that life right and a seven foot stud comes with her okay she's gonna let us like with saying some things that she wouldn't like let know, a, a five a, five a guy average do. guy gotcha. get that. Gotcha. you know what i'm saying because she's like I'm kind of one. I want that, so I need to make it work. Got you, got. So she'll she'll, she'll let it be passive. Yeah, yeah she, because she wants uh, that. So so you're saying then, basically, what you're saying is that women only stand up for their rights when it's convenient. Convenient. Just like everybody sense. else in life. Ah. What what rights do you defend? The Ooh. ones that benefit you. Okay. You don't keep, defend keep a right that. that doesn't def- affect you. Keep going like, on that. Keep think about on it. On. Like, uh-huh. all right, why do you care about a certain tax right when right. It, you finally in that tax bracket? Right. True. <laughs> Why do true. you care about certain homeowner tax when you finally own a home? True. Right? True. Why do you care about certain tobacco when you start uh, tobacco legal age changing? Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you yeah. smoke cigarettes. Makes sense. Right? right. So why do certain women care more about uh, you know pushing equality? Right. And I say equality because some people don't understand what equality is and equity is. Right. right. Why do people care about equality? And, and this feminism movement to a certain extent, and other people go all the way out. Mm. Right. Because it's only to the point that it affects them. Got you. That makes sense. Okay, so so like you said, so the basically the whole plays on convenience. Yeah, it everything, all plays on convenience. Everything. Okay, well that you see that starts to make sense though. But so basically what you're saying is though, like at the end of the day, this whole um this whole movement of equality and whatnot isn't real then. It's I, just it's just trying to get one up. That, that, essentially. It is it is it is real to some people, right? Because some people have a okay. very good argument they're like, yo, even at work I'm not treated the same as a man. So I can see that. Yeah. But then, you know, there's those that piggyback on that argument and try to one-up you. Right, So it's right, like, right. 